Hello, uh, this is Arjun here and uh, today's topic is how can we combine a parameter calculated field and dual access method to create a views. Here is the visualization so you can see here. So in the right side I have given a parameter field where you can uh, switch between two sheets top customer and bottom customers. So the top customers bottom customers here you can see are the out of total customers those who are the bottom 10 customers. Okay, based on the sales they have sorted. Okay, so in the next to that you can see the arrow keys up and down arrow keys and up arrow key indicates in a green color it's a positive profit uh, for those customer and the red colored arrow key down arrow key which shows a negative profit for the customers uh, for those customers. Okay, even the same thing is given here. These are the top 10 customers are based on the sales. Okay. So now uh, we can see here, uh, let's get in now, now and see how we can do this now in the new sheet. I'm taking the customer name here and next I'll be taking the sales. Okay, and uh, let's sort from top to bottom and filter on the customer and top by field customers top 10s. So I'm going to take a, a manual enter which is I'm going to enter 10 here if you want to make it dynamic using the parameters that are already shared in my the previous video you can uh, look in to the how we can do this in the uh, the earlier videos you can see that okay so based on the sales has filtering out fine so let's take it entire view here okay so i got a bar chart now i need to create a position uh, to keep the arrow keys for that I'll be creating okay I'll create top for the top customers so it will be a sales plus I'll give around 500 okay so drag it next to this go to dual access method and then convert this first one into bar and second into shapes or circle you can give so but even though it is okay so it's not coming proper so oh, okay let's synchronize this and still yes the distance are not constant so what we'll do again I'll go here and I'll write sum in front of this Okay, so again drag this field over here. Alright, yes. So now we got a circle, we got it fine, right? So now what I will do is I'll take the shapes. So if the profit is positive, then it will be create a calculated field profit shape. Okay, so sum of profit we need to write, otherwise, we'll get. Two, shape, two different shapes in the same for the same customers will get like that so sum of profit is greater than zero then yes else no okay so drag this profit shape to the shapes here and go to shapes and if it is false go to the arrow keys if it is false means down arrow key if it is true means up arrow keys okay so fine so now increase the size of the arrow key fine so still we are not getting because the color is in the measure names right we'll change this remove the color from the measure name and now we are getting fine right yes so if you want the labels here the profit labels drag the profit labels next to it and do a formatting things keep it to the right side okay fine so now I've got the top customers names. So let's do one thing. We'll create one more for which is for bottom customer name. Okay. This sheet is for bottom customer name. Let's name it as bottom customer. This is top customer. Fine. So now I'll change the filter here top to bottom I'll be changing to bottom okay so but uh, again you can see 
the arrow keys are far away from the bar chart right so what we need to do is we need to change a placeholder so let's duplicate this again and uh, arrow key this was for top and now we need to keep in bottom let's give a three fine so let's drag this again here and drag it here yes so now we are getting fine right yes so okay so let now go to we need to create a parameter to control the these two sheets so i'll write field field here okay we'll take a string list top customer bottom customer okay to control this field parameter we need to create a calculated field so create a calculated field drag the field over here write it as field calc fine so this is the bottom customer name so let's keep the get in bottom customer and we'll drag the field cat to the filters so we are getting bottom customer name yes right so now let's go to the top customer name and show parameter control and keep it in a top customer mode and drag the field calc to the filters take a top customer name here all right yes so now we'll move into we are done with the two sheets now moving to the dashboard part take a vertical container okay drag the bottom customers no, let's drag the top customer first yes okay so close this and now drag the bottom customer to the bottom here or else drag to the top here fine so bottom customer name if you select a uh, bottom customer name you're getting bottom customer here right so hide this title first okay hide the titles here so now need to take a text on top of this to give so what is that means if based on the parameter will give if parameter field then hash 10 increase the size of this to 18 and keep it in the center okay so what it is saying is bottom customers number 10 if i change it to top customers i'll get be getting the top customers okay and you can give a save you can drag the sales to color over here if you want to give a color for this so you can do like this okay bottom customer and top customers right yeah that's it i hope this is helpful to you Thank you. Thanks for watching.